It is 6 a.m. and we're gonna go surf to the trestles. <laughs> I honestly don't even know why I'm awake because yesterday I went surfing also at 6 a.m. and then the day before and then the day before. I'm really exhausted. I could barely paddle yesterday, but we're gonna send it because the waves are pumping. Is this gross? I've been using the same usable water bottle and dumping the electrolyte powder in my cup but not washing it every time. <laughs> Let's go drive the trestles. All right, we're en route to Trestles. I'm here with a special friend. Do you want to be the vlog? G Moon! Yay! This is my surf dad that he adopted me. And he takes me surfing in his minivan. <laughs> this sounds really sketchy now that I think about it. Where are we going today, G? And how are the waves looking? We are going to uppers. And it is supposed to be four to five foot. No, I only I'm riding today my, my daily surfboard. She's right five side. seven. And hopefully the waves are not too big that I can't even match the speed, but this has been pretty swell, especially when days are head high overhead. And that's what the forecast is looking like today. Oh, thank you, Ariel. Aww. Wow. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is insane. You can taste the Hawaii. That is genius. Because instead of putting your board on the top of the car, you can put it underneath so it doesn't fly. Yeah, and then he loosens it up and then it comes down, then tightens it up to keep it on, up top. And this is fit, like two, three boards in there. The smartest thing I've ever seen. If you guys are wondering, I have so far eaten four pieces of bread, one banana, another piece of banana bread. <laughs> I've just been eating. <laughs> so we're looking at the waves now, and honestly, it looks pretty promising. I see some sets that are like three to four feet. Whoa, empty left. Look at that one. What? The waves are pumping. My goal today is just to commit on the paddle and not be scared. Well, that I can't control. My goal is to commit on the paddle because I feel like whenever I focus on like just catching 10 waves, I get in my head versus just committing to the paddle is more process oriented. Gina, this is my surf dad. Are you excited? Go get it. <laughs> my actual dad's gonna be watching and be like, what the heck? Your dad's gonna be like, he's a crazy guy. Who is that guy? Three. Oh, What's her name? Iona. Iona. Her name is Iona. Iona. So the surf session started out pretty normal. I would say the waves were three to four feet. Fun size. This is G's sick one. I actually caught a wave earlier on the session and I was pretty stoked about it, but then as the tide kept dropping, the waves just got bigger and bigger and this place we're surfing at has a pretty soft wave. So I was honestly struggling to get in to any of the bigger sets. My board I felt like was a little small and towards the end of the session, this is how big the waves got. So I was pretty spooked. All right, I just finished surfing. Um, <laughs> How was your session, Tom? Mine was okay. I was on a new board. I was testing out a new board. And it looked it, a little small. It, looked, it was small and it was, just, it was a twin fin. So some of the bigger waves, it wasn't holding as nicely as I wanted to. So it was tough. It was tough. Well, it's okay because I had probably a worse session. I caught one wave in 30 hours. I feel like shit. I feel stupid. I forgot how to surf apparently. So I was gonna ask you because you've been surfing for you said 40 or 30 years? Uh, oh, 40 years, almost 40 years. Oh wow. Yeah. I guess what's your what's your advice for someone that gets frustrated that like you're not catching waves but then you get in a cycle of like I'm not good and then you kind of dig yourself in a deeper hole like how do you break this mental cycle because for me it's it's mostly mental like I know how to pop up and all these things. Yeah. Uh, so for me like what I'll do is I'll change things up. Okay. Whereas if I'm sitting on the outside and I'm getting frustrated because, you know, the thing is, is with the bigger waves, mm -hmm. uh, there's, in my opinion, a smaller takeoff zone. So yeah, a lot of sure. people crowd those areas. Right. So it's kind of hard to get positioned. So to, to change the whole, like, attitude, I end up uh, paddling in and just surf the inside or just do something drastic to make it a different session. How big would you say these waves are today? Today it's... Uh, 
They ra they're ranging from four to eight feet. The, the one thing about trestles that what I find really funny about how people, they, they treat it, like, a lot of people treat it like a beach break. They'll just paddle out, pick a spot, and they'll sit there. The thing is, it's, it's trestles. It's a reef bottom, like a rock bottom. Mm -hmm. And it always breaks, like more often than not, it'll break in the same place. Yeah. Over and over and over. It'll follow that little the, the rock line or the ridge line. Mm -hmm. And so what you do is you kind of figure out where it is. And then once, you, once you're sitting in the right spot, like let's say you just saw a perfect left go by, you plant yourself and you look towards shore and you, you create a lineup. Okay. Yeah, and a lot of people don't do that. So for me, I use that bridge and uh, the big mountain mm. in the back. As long as those two line up, I'm generally in the right yeah, spot. Yeah, because rocks don't move. Yeah. So it will break the same oh, place. Yeah. Thanks, Tom. Yeah, of course. Tom also has a YouTube channel as well, if you guys want to check it out. He's a lot better at surfing than me, so he's probably more advice-driven. I'm just here for the emotional support. <laughs> it was a session today. It was so fun. There were lefts, there were rights. It was like kind of heavy. Did you get worked? I got worked. Yeah, I definitely got worked when the sets came. There was one I had to like dive Holy under. No, when I, saw, when I saw Ariel like literally stand on her board, jump I off, you know bad. it's bad. You know it's bad. I could not duck dive. I could not turtle roll. I just had to dive. That's heavy. So Ariel's from Hawaii, like born and raised? Yeah, born and raised. How big are these waves in Hawaiian terms? Like be honest on the big, small ones and then the big sets. The small ones were about like two foot Hawaiian and then the Biggest sets, I think, was about four to five foot wide. That is pretty big. <laughs> yeah, it was. Even I was scared. Okay, that makes me feel better. <laughs> After a long day of surf. I got fries, a burger, and chicken tenders. Good morning, everybody. It's the next day and it took every fiber in my body not to go surfing today because the waves are pumping but I feel like I should not be out there right now because I'm in a slump. And a slump essentially is where uh, I define it as whenever I go out in the water, instead of progressing, having fun, I'm doing neither of the things and I'm just in my head and miserable and really frustrated. And this has been happening for like, I would say a week. I've been going surfing every day for a week at 6 a.m. No ifs or buts, if the waves are shit, I'm still out there. And I just feel like I'm kind of hitting a mental block and actually it was my friend and my surf coach who was saying you should just take today off. But I was journaling and meditating today. God literally, I feel like is watching me because my meditation app that I use every day, it literally said on the app, redefining success. Like Jade, you need to redefine success. I feel like my goal on this channel um, ever since like six months ago has been to get barreled at pipeline, which is the most dangerous wave in the world. And every time, I get faced with days like this that are huge, pumping, and also really good waves. I usually don't catch them because I'm not at that level yet. And then I'm like, what the f If I'm scared of like a seven foot wave, how am I gonna get barreled at pipeline? And I think what this meditation app was saying was like, you need to let go the target. Because if you try to aim too tightly at the target, you'll miss. Literally, that's me. I need to let go. I thought I would just share this because I know in general, we can apply these lessons to our own lives, but I know I can handle these waves. It's just like, you have to let go of the target, okay? And then the second thing is that I should have brought a bigger board. I really should have brought my step up because that would have enabled me, at least if I was on the outside, I could get in on a bit sooner. But also I think the theme in general is like, I, I need to let go of this goal. Even when I was out yesterday at the lineup, all I kept thinking was like, I don't wanna get hurt. I don't want people to laugh at me. And like, these are things you just can't control. You just have to let it go. And that's what I'm gonna be working on. So I just got a package. By the way, guys, if you haven't already, go follow me on Snapchat. I know it's really random, but I've been vlogging a lot on there, just like throughout my day, real-time surf vlogs. So if you just want more candid content about the day, go check me out on Snapchat. Ooh, this is so sick. Okay, I have seen this before. So this is from Flux Footwear. These are sick. Okay, so these are um, hiking shoes from Flux. But the, what's really cool is they have this like rounded technology that basically mimics being barefoot kind of. Yeah, I like these shoes. They're definitely different because you can feel the inserts being more textured, but I do feel like it feels more grounded and I guess I'm gonna have to hike in these to see <laughs> how I feel in them. But yeah, thanks so much Flux Footwear. These are 
sick. This is the last PR thing I'm going to talk about, but Eddie Bauer sent me this sweater and I'm obsessed with it. Tell me this is not so JD Bucor. Okay, we got the green. If you want the sweater, it's also, by the way, really soft. I'll link it below. I fear that this is the new sweater you'll see in every single vlog. Every single vlog. So just keep that in mind. It's from Eddie Bauer. Um, we are going to the wave pool today in Palm Springs again. <laughs> I know I just was there like two weeks ago, but I wanted to share this really, really cute thing I found. So I was looking through my old journal entries and look at this journal entry I wrote four years ago when I was first learning to surf. I don't feel like I'm strong enough to surf pipeline. I'm scared it will hurt me. I can't afford it literally. God, if it's meant to be, show me your way. Small winds, Jade. Start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten feet waves. Every day, train your arms and breathing. Every weekend, practice in the ocean. This month, aim for three feet. Guys, I used to be scared of surfing three foot waves. <laughs> what if I get hurt? It's going to happen, but that's how you get stronger. If there's a why, there's a way. What's your why? If I can surf pipeline, I can face anything. Literally, that's so cute. I have a video where I surf pipeline on a small day, tiny, minuscule day, but my goal now is to get barreled at pipeline and I just feel like every day I have really bad day surfing. I feel like I'm hopeless and I'm not gonna be able to achieve my goals. But then I look at this journal entry of me literally being afraid of three foot waves. The contrast to going out the other day when it was like six, seven, eight feet makes me feel like there is hope potentially. I just have to keep going and just put in the work. Ryan got a new board. It's a swordfish model. Carbon fiber, wrapped, oh vacuum wrapped. Very light. And I love it. Let me show, show the fins you have on it. Dave wow. Rostovich. Whoa. The surf coach does airs now, so he's gonna ask for a race. Bruh. Ready, guys? So now we're gonna change into my wetsuit. The water is 75 degrees, so what do you think I should wear? First, I have option one, three, two, wetsuit. Pretty warm for today. Option two, regular neoprene wetsuit. Option three, bikini, more coverage. Option four, <laughs> bikini, zero coverage. Comment below. Guess what? Ryan is surfing with us today. How stoked are you? <laughs> no Finally way. getting a wave. No fucking way. How do you feel? <laughs> kind of surreal. Uh, I don't even know. I'm pretty excited. This was not planned no, no, no. Uh, at all, but someone bailed, so he gets to surf now for a few sessions, for a few waves, sorry. Uh, which is pretty exciting because if you guys saw my last vlog, Ryan went all the way to the wave pool just to film me and didn't even surf. So I'm really stoked for him. Um, he rips, so you guys will see Ryan rip, hopefully. My mentality today is to visualize what I want to do before I surf, and hopefully that will set me up for success versus thinking about what can go wrong. I want to make sure I just visualize for success, so I'm going to do that on the grass right here for a little bit and just um, have fun. I'm really trying to work on having fun. Ryan, what's your goal for today? Have fun. Aww, you're good at that. a couple snaps. Oh. Oh, and uh, work on my airs. You're gonna do air today? I think it's a little hard here, no? Oh, okay, maybe not. Just try. I was pretty stoked to be surfing with my surf coach Ryan at the wave pool. Honestly, my first few waves weren't um, the best, but this is pretty normal for me. I kind of figured it out towards the end, but this is Ryan just bamming at the section. Waiting for the sun. I was pretty stoked about this backside turn. I feel like my form was much better, but then after Ryan went out of the water to film me, I think my session just started to decline. I don't know what happened. I maybe got nervous, but I just started to surf really weird and fall a lot. Um, it was painful every time I fell because it's like, oh my gosh, this wave costs money. But I think I redeemed myself towards the second session. But for now, this is a painful watch. <laughs> I just finished my first session at the wave pool. I feel like I definitely blew it on a lot of the rights. I feel like I just ate shit a lot. 
but I also had a few good turns. Hopefully, I actually am looking forward to seeing the footage. That one with that, honestly, honestly it's better. that better, honestly. Oh, that's pretty good, guys. Look at this. Guys, she's she's starting to compress. So what's happening here? What's honestly my shoulders uh, hold it longer, I guess. I think it's where you start your bottom turn, but see how the board snapped quicker? Like Yeah. Did you see yeah, it did. Twerked a little bit more. Oh, you're right. This is me and Ryan's lunch. My session starts at in an hour. So we're gonna fuel up. I got the chimmy cherry steak bowl. We just reviewed footage and I'm realizing how mid it was. <laughs> but it's okay, we have one more session. If I didn't have one more session, I might cry. <laughs> I'm a bit embarrassed to show this second session footage because it was that bad. Honestly, this one was fine. It's just, I don't know what I'm doing. Like I just started to fall a lot. The wave pool, I will say, is very hard to take off on. A lot of people have said this as well. It's just, if you're paddling too much, you're gonna be thrown over the falls. If you paddle too little, you won't be in the wave. So I decided to switch to my lefts because I'm a bit more confident on it. But even then, I was struggling. If I were to reflect back, I think I was really in my head because a lot of people in this session were just ripping it and I just wanted to be as good. But things take time, obviously. So instead of using everyone's progress as motivation, I just kind of got stuck in my head. And that's okay, it happens. But towards the end, I did get a hang of it. It just took a painful long, an hour and 45 minutes to get there. surfing how did I do be honest Ryan <laughs> well we had a strategy and that was to fix the pop-up issue yeah. focus on one turn at a time and you did that I mean you didn't complete every wave but nobody did guys I think I have a uh, short-term memory loss aka I only remember the bad waves and I don't remember the good waves like I feel like I surf like shit but I think there was at least one wave Good morning, everybody. It's the next day. Sandwiches. Hello. I got the same clothes on. Whoa! Oh, that is the surf snack. Right now, we're on the way to the gym. It's 7:30 a.m. because we are gonna go surfing after. But I wanted to share the vlog what you told me, which is I apparently have been in a bad habit that whenever someone asks me, "Oh, how is surfing?" or like, "How was the waves?" immediately my reaction is to say, "Oh, I suck." Like, even yesterday, there was these girls ripping at the uh, wave pool, and they were like, oh, like, I like your videos. And what do I say? I go, oh, yeah, but, like, I suck at surfing. Like, I think it just comes from me trying not to be, like, cocky, because I'm afraid that the Redditors will think I'm cocky. But at this point, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy that I need to stop doing. And also, it makes me sound a little ungrateful. So, I'm going to work today. If someone asks me how the waves are, I'm going to say the waves are fun. And if someone asks about my surfing, I'll look on the bright side. <laughs> So if I'm surfing that day, I don't like to do heavy weightlifting. I just like to do rehab on my shoulders. So I do this like weighted exercise and these stretches to help me get warmed up for the water and get paddling. Let him cook. Let him cook. Like oh my fun. God, yeah. So I live in the South Bay and one of the most popular coffee shops here is called Boy and the Bear. And we're gonna go review some surf footage at this coffee shop and get a little coffee before we head to Huntington and surf with some of our homies. Today's gonna be a good day, I'm psyched. Oh my <laughs> God, who is she? <laughs> what, this is vlog, this is the energy people wanna see. Do you ice cortado? Thanks. If you guys know me, you know I do ice cortado with sugar. We're now gonna look at some surf footage and I'm gonna try to keep up this positive energy while looking at some vertical footage. Work doesn't really rotate. Oh, but so like belly is... button, like use the belly button to point kind yeah, of? Yes, so okay. exactly, like, exactly. Someone commented on my vlog, like I'm not using my hips, but I didn't really know what that means until I look at the footage and like my belly button's literally looking straight at the wave. Of course it's not gonna yes. yeah. rotate. Oh, wow. What the, that was second 
turn though. Oh. Wait, wait for look at look at I'm just gonna do a voiceover because it was so loud at the coffee shop But basically Ryan said that it's not about getting 15 perfect waves at the wave pool No one does even the pros fall It's just getting one or two waves you're stoked about and the rest is about experimenting and it's okay to fall Let's go shot. It's windier down here oh. So we're we're thinking that as the tide drops it's gonna get a little too heavy and the current's gonna get yeah. more obnoxious than we want it to be. No current. So if we go to the other spot, it'll be less current. It'll be smaller for sure. I was just Let's watching go. your video Nowhere. the other day. Oh, really? <laughs> Jade, that's Mel. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Jade. No, nice to meet Jade's you. Mel. There's somewhere. It's still too high. Yeah, but it's perfect for you. Why? Because it's like great, like fun. It's not too crazy. But, but I like it's no, crazy. I know you like crazy, but sometimes you got to take, you know, <laughs> easy. Okay. Honestly, even though this week of surfing was pretty emotional, I'm really stoked that I kept going because this session, I felt like I had a breakthrough. I tried to stay in the moment, give myself positive self-talk, and I actually had some fun and caught some sick waves. So if you guys enjoyed this vlog, make sure you like this video and comment. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode.